Have you ever wondered what would happen if Tengen Uzui, the flamboyant sound Hashira, became a demon? I mean, how crazy and terrifying would that be? Well, after giving it some thought, I came up with a really interesting what-if story. For starters, in this timeline, Tengen would be the one who was sent to the Mugen Train instead of Rengoku. After arriving to investigate the Mugen Train mystery and successfully killing the Lower Moon One, Tengen Uzui comes face to face with an even bigger threat, Akaza, the Upper Moon Three. Mildly exhausted from the previous fight, Tengen picks up his weapons and prepares for another fight. Akaza, on the other hand, compliments Tengen for his accomplishment in eliminating Enmu. Seeing the sound Hashira taking a stance, Akaza responds with a huge smile and taunts the Hashira to do his best. What you also have to know is that Tanjiro and the others won't be here because they'll stick with Rengoku on whatever mission they'll be sent on. So this means Tengen is all alone. As their fight rages on, Akaza sees the potential inside Tengen and is intrigued by how far he can go. On the other hand, as Tengen narrowly dodges a lethal blow from the Upper Moon 3, he is finally done with his musical score. Moments later, he surprises Akaza by turning the tables and consistently landing lethal blows one after the other. However, even when Akaza is about to be beheaded, instead of becoming worried, the Upper Moon starts getting even more pumped up and deems Tengen worthy for the Upper Moon to go all out. Because this is probably one of the best fights he's had in a while. In an instant, Akaza dodges Tengen's attack aimed at his neck. As the excitement bubbles up inside the Upper Moon 3, Akaza unleashes his technique deployment and goes all out against the Hashira. In the end, even after Tengen gives it his all, their fight concludes with Akaza's arm piercing through Tengen's body. In his final moments, Akaza offers Tengen the chance to become a demon right then and there. With his life flashing before his eyes, Tengen's will is shaken to its core. Afraid of death, the flamboyant sound Hashira reluctantly accepts the offer and braces himself for what's to come. One other reason I could think of why Tengen would love to become a demon is that he'll have the chance to see his wives again and even protect them from the shadows. But we all know Muzan isn't going to let that happen. Overjoyed with Tengen's decision, Akaza immediately shares his blood with the dying Hashira and waits for his transformation to finish. After receiving Akaza's blood, Tengen's transformation instantly begins. It is a very painful process that strips Tengen of his humanity, but he is overcome with a power he never thought was possible. When it is over, Tengen Uzui stands taller, his eyes are crimson red, and his abilities are dialed to 11. As a demon, Tengen's senses are razor sharp. He can hear the heartbeat of a rabbit miles away, see a hundred times better at night, and his physical strength and speed are amplified by a lot. However, at that moment, he feels chills run down his spine as he senses a very strong presence watching over him. By accepting Akaza's offer, Tengen becomes a puppet for Muzan to accomplish his lifelong goal of absolute immortality. Unable to disobey Muzan's will, Tengen becomes one of his warriors. The now corrupted Tengen has become a loyal servant of the Demon King. Without wasting more time, Akaza takes Tengen under his wing and teaches him the ropes on how to control his new powers. Apart from being stripped of his humanity by becoming a demon, Tengen also loses his morals. And a more brutal and uncompassionate version of him takes over since the transformation allows all of Tengen's dark emotions to claim his body. Excited by Tengen's potential, Akaza leads him to a village to feast on the innocent civilians. This is to raise his abilities even more because, as we all know, the more a demon consumes human flesh, the stronger they get. Seeing Tengen go on a frenzy, killing any human that catches his eye, gave Akaza a great deal of satisfaction. At this stage, Tengen was still adjusting to his new powers, which made him go into a feral state. But as time passes by, Tengen finally gains full control over himself and is able to keep his consciousness intact no matter what happens. By this point, he is now a demon who can keep his cool and is worthy of being introduced to Muzan himself. During his introduction to Muzan, Akaza was proud of how far his recruit had come. At this point, he was easily stronger than the rest of the upper moons below Akaza. He defeated Han Tengu in a battle, earning the upper moon four spot and demoting Daki and Yutaro to lower moon one. Impressed by the new recruit, Muzan praises Akaza for bringing in a strong addition to the 12 Kizuki. But after that, Muzan's true intention for meeting the demonized Tengen is finally revealed. During their confrontation, Muzan directly questions Tengen about the other Hashiras, the Demon Slayer Corpse headquarters hidden location and Ubuya Shiki's whereabouts. Naturally, you'd think Tengen would hesitate before answering, but without batting an eye, Tengen revealed every sensitive detail about everything he knew. But there was a catch. Muzan and Tengen made a deal saying that when the Demon Slayer Core is done, Muzan will give him the chance to turn his wives into demons too, so that they could live eternally forever. Even Muzan was shocked by Tengen's immediate answer to his questions and how thorough he was in revealing all the things he knew. Pleased with the information, Muzan and the rest of the 12 Kazuki carefully devised a plan to eradicate the Demon Slayer Core once and for all. After a month of preparing for an attack, Muzan and the 12 Kazuki were now ready to make their move. By the way, attacking the Demon Slayer Core was an easy feat to achieve. However, due to Muzan's cunning nature, he made sure that destroying the Demon Slayer Core was done efficiently. On the other hand, after Tengen's defeat and the news about him becoming a demon reached the Demon Slayer Core, everyone was 
shocked that Tengen chose to become a demon and is now serving under Muzan. Additionally, his former allies were mad and disappointed at his decision and his current actions because days after becoming a demon, Tengen immediately attacked multiple villages and killed hundreds of innocent civilians and demon slayers who tried to stop him. Even his wives didn't think that he could be this merciless. The sins he had committed were unforgivable and each Hashira was actively searching for Tengen in hopes of putting a stop to his actions. However, after Tengen's demonization, demon attacks began to grow much more abundant for a whole month. Without realizing it, each Hashira was spread far away from Ubuyashiki to deal with the rising number of attacks from demons. With their forces spread thin, Muzan's plan was now ready to start. As darkness covered the earth, Muzan appeared in front of Ubuyashiki and his family with the goal of destroying everything that had stood in his way for a very long time. On this night, he would finally have the satisfaction of killing the entire Ubuyashiki family, all thanks to Tengen's cooperation. And unlike the original series, the demon slayers here didn't lay a trap and they didn't even know Muzan was coming. However, instead of Muzan killing Ubuyashiki himself, the Demon King had a much better plan in mind. Without saying a word, Muzan grabbed Kanata, one of Kagaya Ubuyashiki's daughters, and turned her into a demon right before their very eyes. With a sadistic look, Muzan released their daughter and watched as the little demon slaughtered every single person in sight until no one was left alive. Meanwhile, Tengen watched this cruelty unfold right before his eyes, but he felt no guilt in watching his former master die at the hands of his own daughter. Instead, Tengen quite enjoyed the screams they made as they were helplessly being devoured by a demon. On the other hand, the rest of the upper moons were on the move, searching for the Hashiras and Nezuko under Muzan's orders. One by one, the Hashiras fell at the overwhelming strength of the upper moons. With their forces scattered across the country, backup was out of the question, meaning each Hashira had to fight an upper moon all by themselves. Based on the anime, a Hashira is no match against an upper moon, even with a demon slayer mark. Muzan eventually comes across the main characters, Tanjiro and Nezuko, in the forest where it all began. Without hesitation, Muzan turns to his ultimate form and lunges at Nezuko. Being too slow to react, Tanjiro turns his head and sees Muzan pierce her in the stomach. Tanjiro gets angry and attempts to cut off Muzan's arms with his mastered sun-breathing technique, but Muzan instantly knocks away his sword. In the next instant, Muzan consumes Nezuko in front of Tanjiro and with a smile, leaves the scene with Tanjiro still alive. Meanwhile, as the Demon Slayer core is destroyed, Tengen finds his three wives fighting for their lives. He stops the demons who were attacking them and asks them to join him, but they refuse. That's why he captures them and forces them to drink his blood, trying to turn them into demons. However, as you know, not everyone is cut out to become a demon, as some will literally die if they cannot transform properly. And because his wives were not as strong as him and were exposed for a long time to Wisteria, there's a high chance that they actually die during the transformation process. Ironically, all three of his wives die, and he becomes even more insane because, in his thoughts, he became a demon just to save them. No one can predict what he will do next, but it isn't going to be pretty. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos like this one.